fucking blocking those annoying robocalls for good. We know phone companies already have the technology, and now there's a push to get it in your hands. ABC Action News anchor Lindsay Logue is live in Tampa with these details. And Lindsay, if this technology exists to stop these calls, why isn't it being put to use? Ashley, phone companies like Verizon and AT&T, they feared legal ramifications for using it, fearing that the robocall technology in some way violated federal law. That's where this new push by Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi comes in. Florida joining 44 other states asking these phone companies to offer the robocalling technologies. Bondi and other attorneys across the country saying there's no law breaking here. In fact, there's a new Federal Communications Commission rule that allows it. Just in the last three weeks in the state of Florida, two robocalling scams have been shut down. And if you think you're safe on the do not call list, think again. Call blocking is already an option for anyone who has an Android cell phone. There are multiple apps out there for anyone with an iPhone. Still yet to be determined whether these phone companies will jump on board and offer customers this robocalling blocking technology. And even if they do, how much they're going to charge for it. That, of course, is up to each individual company. Live in Tampa, Lindsay Logue, ABC Action News. All right, Lindsay Logue reporting live for us. Good information. Thanks, Lindsay.